Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's webinar, Make Your Business an Online Powerhouse with your MAPS coach, Craig Goodliff. Please note this webinar is being recorded and you will automatically receive the webinar recording. If you have questions for your coach, please type them into the questions box located in your webinar taskbar. Following the webinar, if you have any questions about today's call or coaching programs, please email us at fasttrack at kw.com. That's F-A-S-T-T-R-A-C-K at KW.com. That's all for me. Craig, take it away. Thank you so much, Holly. Welcome, everyone. We're glad you're here to make your business an online powerhouse. And before this, we tried to convince Holly to sing the Brick House song for us. She isn't going to do that today. So dang it. We're going to have to be very informative because we're not going to be as entertaining as we were hoping to be. So really quick, I want to introduce you to myself and tell you about what I do. I run a team in Utah, the Good Life Group, and our entire real estate admin team is virtual. I'm a MAPS coach, and I coach 50 of the top teams all over North America, many of them using virtual assistants. Raquel, tell us about you. Hi, everyone. So um, what did you take away from Family Reunion? Because I've got a lot and I met a lot of people uh, from Family Reunion and it was so exciting. But first, let me introduce myself to you guys. Um, I am Craig's Cyberbacker and I handle everything from Craig's calendar, um, scheduling. I manage his to-do list. I listen to calls. I take notes of the conversation. I send reports, track the numbers, create call lists, organizing follow-up items, and everything else in Craig's 80%, including getting him back on track when he is off track. Most of the time, Absolutely. he is off track. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. So Raquel's also good for entertainment today. You, you can type your comments and questions. Um, in the chat box right there. I think some of you are because I heard these pop-up sounds. So let's uh, talk about what we're doing here today. Uh, we're, we're building an online powerhouse. Now, we're not here to go ahead and come up with all sorts of wonderful and exciting creative new ideas. We're taking and building a solid online powerhouse through proven models and things like that that have existed for a very long time. So we're going to be very by the book in MREA today. So what are we doing? We're getting ahead of the upcoming tech shift. One of the things that I think Raquel and I both took away from Family Reunion was when Gary said that I looked at what a company would do that would eventually come along and put, put us out of business, what they would do, and we went and did that. So we're really excited about that. We're going to be chatting with that. Raquel, you might be able to tell on her from her accent, and those of you that met her at Family Reunion, she is not from the U.S. She is from the Philippines. Yes, and Raquel, you work right. online, correct? Yes, that's right. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about that. We're also looking at online lead generation and prospecting. Yes, you can do it. Yes, you can make it fun. And doing it in a little bit of a, the same foundation, different format. Same content, different context. We're also going to take a glimpse into the future of our industry. So let's go ahead and let's go right here. This is back to MREA, charting the course. And I love this. I must create a system or be enslaved by another man's. We're talking about building your online system. So let's look real quick at the fortune cookie. You know that fortune cookie joke, Craig? Where you add with bacon to the end of everyone, like the Wendy's commercial? <laughs> sure. <laughs> so, guys, so we'll, let's take some parts of the uh, millionaire real estate agent and add virtually or online at the end. So I have the wonderful opportunity to coach some of the highest producers in Keller Williams and Maps. And I've been looking at that part that's think a million, earn a million, net a million, receive a million, give a million. And I was doing preparation. This is before family reunion because like all of you, I was asking myself, what am I going to take away? Well, for me, I'm going and saying, what are most of my coaching clients taking away? Well, they're working on moving from earning a million to netting a million. So I went back to page 219 of the MREA because I went to the book. When I don't know an answer, I go consult the book, the red book, The Millionaire Real Estate Agent. So I looked at all these. I talked with this about a lot of my coaching clients. I found every one of them have something on here, pretty much every one of them. Some of them are like, we are flawless. And I went, now, wait a second. This just isn't the issues between earning a million and netting a million. This is also the problems that can be solved virtually. So like the fortune cookie, 
We take number one, sustaining a solid lead generation program that emphasizes, I'm going to add real quick, prospecting as well as marketing and consistently increases the number of leads online or virtually. Tracking and converting leads through others virtually or online. Protecting your lead generation focus time. Raquel, you do that for me, correct? That's correct. In fact, you even said in the beginning what you do, and we're going to talk about this much, much later. We'll make sure we get some time. When I have to focus, Raquel runs defense. In fact, we make a call. We're going to make a prospecting call. Raquel's the one dialing the number, and she's the one that says, here's who we're calling, and she's the one taking notes. In fact, Raquel, you're the one that protects my lead generation focus time, correct? That's right. Yes. So that's done virtually. Mm-hmm. Weighing your options, the process of knowing what works and doesn't work for you virtually, we have that. I don't know if everyone else is, but I found myself when we went ahead and looked at this text shift, um, getting leads from Facebook ads, which is kind of a weird thing. And then I noticed how much money I was spending going through Facebook ads. By the way, if something looks too good to be true and it's really, really inexpensive, like really inexpensive, um, it's probably fake. I learned the hard way when I was thought I was buying a really cool iron mask. For my, for my, I love dressing up superheroes with my young man. Thought I was buying that. I got this cheap plastic one that showed up. It was originally four hundred dollars. Yours for twenty. Anyway, online scam through Facebook. So at the same time, what got me got most people. So you're looking at each one of these on page two nineteen and adding virtually. Okay, and I don't just mean virtual assistants, because when we when we talked about, well, let's go ahead. We'll talk about more. Let's talk about the virtual shift. Shift happens, right? Let's go here, Raquel. Well, yeah, this is new, Craig. We meet a doctor online. Um, is yeah. <laughs> well, a lot of people are meeting their doctors and other professionals and all sorts of other people online. But more importantly, they're having their appointment online, their doctor's appointment. And that just that blows me away. Well, if you can meet a doctor, why can't you meet a buyer, or a seller? So um, there's more with that. But let's look at predictions on where that's going. So Forbes is predicting 25% a year over the next five years. So next time I want to see my doctor, I don't even have to get out of bed. Yeah, and I could make a joke about that, Craig. Is, is this about like, you know, being lazy again? I'm a lazy American, no. Anyway, so if doctors are doing it, um, you've got to be, well, are you prepared and are you listing from your office. This is actually my setup. And like that Facebook portal right there, that's like my favorite lead generation tool. I can just hit that button and video call someone. Yeah. And right? don't worry, guys. I'll help Craig get um, better graphics for the actual coaching. Thank you. So here's the challenge. And if you take nothing else away, do this do one online listing buyer or recruiting consultation online if you haven't already. If you work in a second home market, it's probably common that you can get them on the phone, get them in front of a webcam, and you can do that appointment. I got to tell you, I was talking to a great guy. He's in West Michigan. His name's Jake. And sometimes I go ahead and I apologize if I'm getting out of order, but Jake went ahead and he said that for a long time, he felt like people were looking at more or less kind of like the menu when they were shopping online and realtors just kind of became order takers. Well, now what happens when his clients are going online, he's going online with them. They're looking at homes together. He's just doing it. He, he told me one day, I, I'm doing it from my living room and I'm just video chatting with them. We're looking at houses and I'm just giving them the consultation before we drive out there. It's just a, simply a way to show less homes and make more money, which is ultimately leverage. So let's switch gears because there's something we all want to talk about right here. It's lawnmowers, right? Raquel, do you remember the original lawnmower? No. Well, does anyone still use this kind? Also, um, what... Does this have to do with real estate, Craig? Well, listing a home has changed, and we've gotten away from the MLS book. Anyone still use an MLS book? Well, I am sure all those listings are expired now. Perfect. We have an opportunity. But here's more of the lawnmower we're used to. Yep. So, guys, don't cut your fingers or toes off. Absolutely. And this is the MLS we're used to, or at least a graphic of it so I could represent it. But this is the new lawnmower right here. Do you have this long mower, Craig? Not personally. And yet, I bet most people don't. For a second, though, let's just imagine you own a lawnmower business and you know that the robot artificial intelligence is coming to put you out of business, meaning this right here. Now, the good news is it isn't here yet. 
The even better news is that you can run a business on a much smaller workforce by embracing this technology. So if you own the lawn mowing company, this is, and you know this is coming, how do you prepare? I mean, this is your problem and virtualize your business, our upcoming group coaching, it's here to solve that. Now we only have a short time today. If you want the full version, we've got an opportunity in March for you to listen and learn more. So let's just kind of look at this. So uh, the fundamentals we learn in MREA still apply. So the application for those models have changed. For example, earlier we said that we're doing video calls online. However, are you making video calls? I mean, Facebook has this feature. Just next time you're doing some lead gen, do some video calls. The fun thing is when you do it, they'll almost always message you back with an answer, which a lot of times when I call people, I never hear back. So just have some fun with that. Do your lead generation session, making your call still on Facebook video. That's a fun thing. Uh, Leslie, we're talking to a wonderful agent out of Oklahoma, Leslie Thomas, and she said in bolt, she was known for doing all of her 20 prospecting calls per day through Facebook video chat. I took that from Leslie. I went, that's brilliant. So, and then quick example on fundamentals. When Gary talks about the four models in MREA on pages 122 and 123, he mentions set up a database and systematically market to it. Right. And Amazon is doing this, right, Greg? You're right. Amazon is doing it. In fact, 64% of people have Amazon. I can remember Gary saying, build a database so good people would be a, pay to be a part of it. Uh, Amazon did that. By the way, you can do the same thing in real estate. We dive more into that in the group coaching. I just want you to go ahead and look at that. Look, all, more people have Amazon Prime than voted in 2016. So... We look real quick at this. I have a feeling a lot of these companies didn't keep an open mind to the database approach or where business was going. If we go back to 2006 and people couldn't fathom how many of these sales were going online and now going online faster is putting other companies out of business. Side note, I can remember people saying I would never buy clothes until I tried them on. Some people still say that. Look real quick at clothing. It's you know, J.C. Penney's, Kmart, Macy's. So anyway, and then let's go right here. We look at these companies, and it amazes me how the previous top five are no longer the current top five. Mm -hmm. So, um, mm -hmm. in your business, are you looking at your past track record or looking where the business is going? Well, it's going online. We got our digital ad growth. This is where that's happening. We look at. We talked about prospecting. Look at how much time people are spending on social media yeah. and how are you prospecting to them? Like if you're looking at what's the little thing with this phone right there? Oh, I've got a telephone. No, that's WhatsApp. You kind of need that. You're already behind. And Instagram, we're not hashtagging. Hashtag cyberbacker, right, Raquel? Yeah. <laughs> and so well, that's where the people are. And one of the secrets of business is you've got to go where the people are. If that's where your database is, that's where you go. Your database is online. So we look at just what Google's doing and look at these other companies. Can you and by the way, a billion with a B. So, and I know that there's are different funnels. We're going to get more into that real quick. Let's look at just real quick tuition and inflation. Something's wrong here. Can we yeah. uh, talk leverage? We're not charging. Any, <laughs> well, we're not talking enough about what we're charging. Okay. You oh. want to talk about the virtual thing? You want to talk lead yeah. lessons and leverage Raquel? All yeah. right, fine. Let's talk about the big three. Let's start with the uh, the virtualized organization. Sound good? Yep. Let's talk about actually getting online and running a business. Um, are you talking about Cyberbacker? Yes, indeed. So many of you know me as the guy who ran Virtual Leverage. It was a great program when we retired it. Why? We learned with just the organizational piece, it doesn't work. That and Diana had talked to Craig about having a maps company that you know, would take care of hiring online, and we created Cyberbacker. Yeah. So we look real quick. Um, now, uh, guys, we uh, with Cyberbacker we have 114 people, and this is our new meeting room. Yeah, so much more convenient than we had to reserve a conference room at the office, and today we couldn't fit all those people in there. 
Yeah. And I am sure a lot of people are wondering, Greg, in this group course, are you still going to help people find a virtual assistant for as low as $2 per hour? Yes. Yes, we are, as long as people need jobs globally. Yeah. And what do they do if they can't wait until March to hire someone? Yeah, call me. Like, there's the information. Let's get back to everything. So, um, Raquel, when people hear we have an entire virtual staff, the first question they ask is, what can a virtual assistant do? Well, I can do anything except make coffee for you. <laughs> well, I don't drink coffee. Yeah. And, Craig, can we ask a better question? Um, because sure. this isn't virtual leverage, and, you know, we used to ask this a lot. Sure. So what can't a virtual assistant do? Or what can't a virtual agent do? What can you really mm -hmm. not do? Besides, you've got showing a house, and yes, you need a license to do that. What can you not do or what cannot be done virtually? I mean, most of it, it's gone there. You do not have to push uh, three copies in front of them and tell them to press hard. So also, what can a cyber backer do? Anything that requires a physical um, presence or a real estate license. So wait a second. Raquel, yeah. does that mean that um, if it takes a physical presence or a real estate license, it must be done by an agent? That is correct. And the opposite, everything else can be done virtually, virtually. by someone yes. else in the world, which means mm -hmm. my hiring pool, the global population, what is it right now, around 7.6 billion people on the planet? Mm -hmm. With the average person in the world making eleven thousand US per year, yep, your talent pool just got a lot bigger. You just had to narrow the physical presence and the real estate license people down. Now you've probably seen a lot of these job descriptions on kw.com or you've read about them in the MREA, or some people have just heard about other people doing them. That's correct. And our team has managed to hire a great executive assistant, a listing manager multiple classified posters, and even people who set appointments. Yes. So uh, we've even hired a great inside sales and outside sales listing manage, manager. And for those of you who are looking to boost your web presence, uh, you can hire a full-on web team if we're being office very, very affordably. That's right. And uh, you can also hire a social media manager, transaction coordinator, bookkeeper, blogger, graphic designer, and a video editor. Well, so a couple different things with this, and I apologize in the last one. I forgot to share. We went ahead and we hired someone to make recruiting appointments because here uh, where I'm at in Utah, it doesn't require a license or physical presence. So we got Joyce. Joyce is fantastic. We love Joyce. She got Diana's um, recruiting scripts. On I, We gave them to Sheena. She took them back to the Philippines. When you guys went back from the U.S., Joyce went ahead and got on the phone, started Tuesday morning, set seven recruiting appointments her first two days on the phone. By the way, Joyce has That's several right. years, years of call center experience, years. It just became a different script. That blows me away. I don't know if that blows you guys away. That's great because I don't know a lot of people who have the ability to do that, and it's a lot more affordable. We look at building out websites, for Cal. We can go ahead and, we, I mean, we yep. can't cap. We have legitimately a great web development team, and we're not just hiring from the Philippines. We're hiring out of Bangladesh. Definitely. We're hiring out of Kenya. We're hiring out of India. These things can be done, and now you've got the entire world that you can hire from. We're going to get into those things. So my favorite, though, is you can also <laughs> hire a Raquel to manage your personal efficiency. Yep, and yep. people ask me all the time, like, what do you do for work? Because I work from home. And since a lot of people are wondering that right now, I will tell you guys. So managing Craig's 80% is my one thing. So I handle his schedule and calendar. So when he comes to work, I have prepared his call list so he knows who to call and what they're going to talk about. I also manage his follow-up items and to-do list. You know, sometimes, he wishes that I wouldn't bug him about doing them. But just to let you know, guys, that he couldn't leave work without, you know, finishing his to-dos. And I take notes when he makes calls and listen into the computer 
while he talks on the phone. I also handle personal tasks. I can even answer his cell phone. And if Craig doesn't feel like prospecting, I take the option out of it. Mm -hmm. Right, Craig? Truthfully, <laughs> truthfully. The one thing that tech will not replace is that human interaction. I don't think tech's going to go ahead and, well, I don't know. I do have that device that zaps you that I wear that if I'm not doing something or I'm doing something, it'll give me a little zap, but Raquel still has to push the button. Yep. But it's just managing that piece right there. So love that. Ethan, you got a great question here um, about tuition. We're going to come back to that because I realized there's a slide missing about online education. So what are we covering in the group program? Well, We're going to be uh, covering... For Mm -hmm. yeah. Go ahead, Raquel, you Perfect. speak. I like your voice better. <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> so for those of you um, familiar with the MREA, some of this will be review with an online spin. Right, Craig? Yeah, for others, it's going to be setting up and building up. If you're brand new to real estate and people say, what's the fastest way to learn the models and implement the models? This is a great place to start. We're just going through the book. Okay, it's very, very simple. And then we, we're going to go over a couple of things. We've had some great teams get over 100 people to call them in one day. I mean, there's the bold 100. And those of you who've done it, it's a lot of work, especially if you're doing it one at a time dialing. It took me over 12 hours my first time to break up 100 contacts in one day. Well, we looked at how do you go ahead and get those to come inbound, implementing the two M's from lead generation. By the way, you can open your shift book right now if you want to figure that out. Look at the two M's of lead generation on page 58. We're actually going to go through how to do that, how to virtualize that. Because cool, you can get 100 people to call in a day. Uh, I don't know if I can answer that many phone calls in one day. And by the way, our top guy, he's out of uh, Waterloo, got three over 350 in one day inbound calls. We're also going to be going over virtualized listing appointments. It's a different listing appointment when it's done virtually with a seller. We've got some great guests who do this who are going to be helping us with that. We're also going over our virtualized buyer appointments. And then because uh, Joyce has so many wonderful recruiting appointments, we've got seven next week. I, I'm following my own advice, and we're doing virtual recruiting appointments. We're doing them through Zoom. So right. because in two days setting that may, there's no other way we could do it. Mm -hmm. Then we're also taking and virtualizing your value proposition. There's a lot of different ways that you can do that. Like Gary talks about, you know, the consumer experience through command. Um, and Kelly is they'll have their own website that they go to with their own information to where when we go ahead and we go online and we look at a website right now, we all look at the same kind of website. But what's coming is we'll look at a website that was customized by artificial intelligence for us. So it's really, really cool. We're going to be talking a lot about that. So, yeah. Okay. And, so, Ethan. Yeah. And, sorry, Raquel. Yeah. This is a lot, Craig, to put into one group course. So, yes. How do we yes. sign up, Craig? We're going to go over that. Ethan asked a great question about tuition and inflation. And I realized that we left the slide out right there. So, Ethan, I appreciate you asking. We look at what's happened with online education and tuition. Look at where most people are actually studying things right now. They're learning them from YouTube. And there's different online schools like Khan Academy and stuff like that. There's even KW Connect, which is our own university that's online. And for us, it is completely free. And it's, it's amazing when, when you look at just how much of it's gone there. I mean, you look at the cost, it would, I mean, what would you have to have paid 20 years ago, 1999, back when I graduated high school, for the information you can generate based on just spending a week on YouTube? And by the way, don't go spend a week on YouTube. It's not a good idea, Ethan. So some of us have. And yes, Hassan, we will go ahead and get you a copy of this. So if you do want to join us, and by the way, we are going to hang out for some Q&A. We will hang out as long as you guys would like. Go here to Maps Coaching dot com if you'd like to join us and get the full everything you're going to click on coaching you can go to group virtualize your business that is the name of our group course and if you want an online powerhouse heck we can call it that we'll call it wherever you want the intent is still the same it's about putting your business online and taking the proven systems and models and getting really good at implementing them online you can do that everything from having someone whether it's you or someone else Track your leads. I'll tell you what, my business myself went ahead and changed when we tracked leads. And then we went ahead and we put in that if it's a phone call, it's done by me. And someone's going ahead and dialing the phone, so I have no choice of not doing it. And then our little, we call it the insurance program. Meaning if I didn't call someone, they're going to get a text. 
They're going to get a voicemail. They're going to get some sort of a communication from me so my database does not feel neglected. Guys, if you're facing that, that your database is neglected, or you'd like to do that at a higher level, this course is for you. Because our job here is to take the option out of it, and we're doing it virtually. So anyway, if you have questions, here's my information. So um, let's go ahead and let's just do some Q&A. Raquel, do you want to go ahead and do some Q&A with everybody? Yeah, absolutely. Let me give you guys some just some great Q&A in starting this, because a lot of people, hopefully, I want to know what you took away. If you've got something good, that's fantastic. The big Q&A for me, though, right now is where's this online thing going? Like how much of my life will be online? And we just look at where it's gone personally. I mean, I don't know about you, but I can remember setting up mobile banking on my phone and downloading an app and having it on my phone. Uh, before that, you know, you had to wait for, the, well, you went to the email. And before that, the statement would come in. And before that, you actually had to go to the bank. It blows me away. I mean, how much of your world is actually online? It's kind of interesting that you can work from anywhere in the world, like Raquel's in the Philippines. And when I come to the Philippines, we get to work together, don't we? That's right. Yeah, we do. And prospecting calls can be done from there, as long as they have a real estate license yep. in most states. It's kind of amazing. So something else that's just kind of a fun thing to do is when you're hiring globally, the average person, and we'll talk about this and why $2 an hour is doing that, when you're hiring out of Kenya, because we've recently been going into Kenya, the average person in Kenya, when you look on Amazon, or Amazon, when you look on the Wikipedia website, and I challenge you to do this, you look at the gross national income per capita, we talk about this in the group coaching, the average person in Kenya makes 1200 US per year. A nurse in the Philippines, Raquel, because it's one of the most popular jobs over there that people go to school for is nursing, mm -hmm. correct? Yeah, that's yeah. right. They roughly make about $1.25 an hour in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. True. Yeah. And people want to know, like, how do you find great people in, in the Philippines? Well, Raquel, there's several nights that we went around the call centers in the Philippines looking for people, <laughs> didn't we? Yeah, we did. Yes. <laughs> kind of sounds creepy. And they're like, why is this crazy white guy chasing me? <laughs> I have a flyer. I want to work with you. He's crazy. So anyway, how do you get virtual help from these companies? It's a great question, Kelly. I'm going to give you the basic answer. And there's a lot of different ways. The way that we've gotten good at it, at Cyberbacker and everything else, is we started by building a database. Now you can go to Facebook, you can go to websites, you can go any way you like. Your goal is to start attracting and looking for people in those countries. And then you are, you're just following the four laws of lead generation. You're just applying it to this. Amazon followed it. They built a database. They fed it every day. They communicated with it in a systematic way. It's exactly what we did going into Kenya. We found people online. We went through Facebook. We went through Instagram. We went through Twitter. You know. And then once we found them, we started building a database. Finding one isn't really a database. Unless you're going to be your one person. You're going to have to have a very solid relationship with them. So like Shamim, I think, where'd we find him? I think he came from Twitter. <laughs> Shamim's in Bangladesh. He's a lot of fun. We love him. He is a very, very smart guy. I think I make him nervous and he's afraid of talking to us. So, but that's what you do. So how do you get help from these countries? Yeah, that's, that's how we get help from these countries. So where does your virtual assistant get their phone numbers? Like, do you trust sharing your database? Uh, Raquel, do you have access to my database? Oh, I do, yeah. Yeah, my cell phone? I, yes, cell phone, email. email. Yep. Yeah, what don't you have access to? Um, Facebook, because Ashri is the one that's handling Yep. That. Yeah, because Facebook. we've got Ashri and Siren who manage my Facebook, right? Yeah, yep. yeah, that's right. So um, how do you get quality versus scammers? Kelly, it's the same thing with you hear people in business like Enron, a bunch of people were scammers. You're, I'm not going to tell you you're not going to. You're going to have to put in the time. We actually go through, it's a longer process. It is recruit select. You either hire a trusted company who actually has a reputation of it where someone's doing a full on CV and someone's responsible, or you've got to do that yourself. Can we find you a person? Betty, absolutely. Give me a call. There's the number. We talked about virtual transaction coordinators. Can we hire out of the country for that? Do they have to be licensed in a specific state or licensed in general? Kelsey, that is a great question. Um, in some states, like I'm in Utah, I do not have to be licensed for parts of transaction coordinating. I can't call in the state of Utah. You've got to know your own state. And if you can just, the fast way to do it is just go to Google. 
type unlicensed assistant and then your state, and then it's going to give you what they cannot do. You've got to stay within those parameters. So if someone in Utah, they can't call and talk about anything related to commission, price, but they can go ahead and send an email to different people notifying them of here's the home inspection or you know here's what the buyers are requesting. So just go online and take a look on what an unlicensed assistant can or can't do. Yeah, yeah, we can, um, Betty, give me a call. We can go ahead and help you out with that. List of companies with screen assistance. Absolutely, Kelly. And I haven't had anyone ask. And I'm more than happy to find that list. In fact, in Virtual Leverage, we actually did that list for people. Um, and Kelly, if you want to reach out, there's my info. I'll get you that. I'll help you find a list. Also, Kelly, let me know who you would like to hire. Like if it's a transaction coordinator, there's different companies that I can tell you if you're going to hire a um, someone to build like templates for you, like marketing templates, happy birthday stuff. Um, there's a great lady I know. She's from Canada. She hires from the Philippines and I think Malaysia. Um, and she is the best person I can tell you for that job. And the cyberbacker job, if you need a babysitter, I don't know of anyone but cyberbacker who's going to hire you someone like I have Raquel, who's going to dial the phone, listen to the calls. You know, I've got a full, full on army working for me here. It's fantastic. So, but yeah, shoot me an email. Kelly, I'll get you taken care of. So guys, thanks for being here. We are going to send you a copy out. If you want to go a lot more in depth, and I mean a lot more in depth, down to we will begin going screen by screen showing you how to find people. We're going to go screen by screen on lead generation and doing online lead generation. We're also talking about how do you go ahead and use Command and Kelly to implement these models. Because remember, the organizational one, it's one part. We love teaching virtual leverage. However, without virtual lead generation, it doesn't work. Without a virtual economic model, and lead to close ratios doesn't quite work. Uh, you, you probably know your economic model is different based on a sphere lead that comes in versus an internet lead or a Facebook lead. We're going to talk about those things. So guys, I appreciate you. Uh, Benna, you're welcome to send me a shoot, call me or send me an email. We'll get you someone to manage your social media. Guys, thanks for being here today. Your time's valuable and I appreciate you spending it with me. Have a great day.